Okay, so with this video, we are going to be finally finishing up the review API endpoint. And in doing so, the first thing that we are going to need to do is we're going to need to go into our service. Then once we build out uh, the service implementation, then we can finally go into our review controller. So first thing, once again, in our review service right here, and we are going to have a delete review um, method and within this delete review method what we are going to have is we're going to have an int of pokemon id we are also going to have an int of review id and the reason why we need both instead of just one like we did with pokemon is because once again it's a one-to-many relationship and we need to delete the pokemon id along or we need to have the pokemon along with the review id in order to as actually find the relationship so what we're gonna do is, um, as always, go in here and we are going to click on the red light bulb. We're going to finally implement this delete review within our review service implementation. And we're in here right now. The next thing that we need to do is we need to start actually putting in the code for our delete review. And thankfully, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, we're once again, we're going to need our Pokemon and our review repository find by IDs and just go up here and copy them from up at the top. And then we will go down into our actual delete review and go ahead, paste them down there because it's going to be very similar. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to also bring down this exception handling that we created in our previous API endpoint. So just go ahead pass that down also looks like I got a typo here so I might as well just go ahead and fix that while I'm here now what we need to do is uh, just go into our actual uh, review repository and we're just going to essentially just delete the review it's pretty simple it's not that complicated Del uh, deletes are actually relatively simple in most cases so that's all we really need to do. Now, all we need to do is we need to move on to our actual controller. Okay, so all we need to do is just go up here. And first thing is that we are going to have our delete mapping. And let's see, so we have our delete. So we go delete mapping. And within our delete mapping, we are going to have Pokemon. And we will also have the Pokemon ID, just like we all have had before. Um, like I said, uh, deletes are pretty simple. Go into here, we have our reviews, and we have the actual ID of the review. Next thing that we do is we go down here. We go response entity status. We're going to go here. Be wary that we're returning a string. We're not returning an actual object or anything because we're deleting it out of the actual database there's nothing that's going to be returned so just be aware that we're returning a string instead of a actual object now we're going to go ahead and do our parameters so um, very similar to what we had before and int pokemon id so we'll have pokemon id and then we'll have the path variable up here and this path variable is going to equal just our good old id and we'll have our int, then we'll have our review ID just like that. So now what we need to do is, I think I have a actual, I think I have a error here. So go here and this needs to be inside of here. And this needs to actually be inside of here. And we also need to put another um, parentheses right there. I think I have something else going on here. I'm gonna try to figure it out. Let me see. So, oh, I need to have a comma right here, and this can go away right here. So that looks good. Finally got that bug figured out. That was kind of stressful. Okay, so now all that we need to do is we're going to have our review service. So we're gonna bring in our review service just like this and all that we're going to do is we're going to have a delete review right here and we're going to pass in our pokemon id and we're also going to pass in our review id and that looks good now all that we need to do is we need to return a new response entity 
and instead of actually returning, we can ret we need to return an HTTP status of OK, but we also just need to return a string so that they can be let uh, the person who's using this can be alerted or notified that the actual deletion was successful. Review deleted successfully. Okay, and then we have our HTTP status of OK. And that looks pretty much it. So let's go ahead, test it, make sure it's looking good. I'm gonna go into Postman. And all that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the reviews right here. And I'm gonna take a look down here at my actual um, Pokemon ID reviews.id. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. This is the one that I updated. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy this right here. And because we don't, we're not sending anything up, we're not sending up any JSON, we can just go down here and we can duplicate this. Make sure that this is delete right here. Otherwise it's not gonna work or it's gonna show a weird error. And we'll just go ahead, test this out and review deleted successfully. Let's go ahead and look back at our Pokemons and make sure that this thing is deleted. So we go down here and our actual entity that we updated is now deleted. We finished our review API. We can finally move on to security. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.